what we do know from previous research is that genetics and um, uh, lifestyle are associated with risk of um, dementia. But this is the first study to comprehensively look at the combination of the two in relation to dementia. And uh, what we wanted to do is basically to answer the question whether lifestyle may offset genetic risk for dementia. So what we did was we constructed a polygenic risk score based on a previously published uh, data and we included um, almost 250,000 um, genetic variants that were weighted um, according to their association with Alzheimer's disease and we then categorized um, the polygenic risk score into low, intermediate and high and we um, took a similar approach to defining our healthy lifestyle score. So we know from previous research that um, no smoking, regular physical activity, um, uh, drinking in moderation and healthy diet are associated with lower risk of dementia. So those are the four lifestyle factors that we included in our score and again the score was weighted, was standardized to range from 0 to 100 and then we categorized the score into favorable, intermediate and unfavorable lifestyle. And maybe I just give you a couple of examples what it really means. So. Um, if someone doesn't smoke, exercises regularly, um, drinks in moderation and ha follows a healthy diet, and this person will be categorized as following a favorable lifestyle. But for example, if someone doesn't smoke, exercises regularly, but exceeds the recommended levels for alcohol consumption, and um, doesn't follow a healthy diet and their score would be intermediate and obviously if you don't do any of the good stuff then it would be unfavorable. So um, we uh, followed our participants and we included, we were able to include in our analysis almost 200,000 participants from UK Biobank, so this is a really large sample. So we followed them for a median of eight years and during this time period almost um, 1800 developed um, dementia and this was recorded in uh, medical records or a DAF register. Yeah? So then what we did was first to look at the association between genetic risk and risk of dementia and what we found was that uh, both the intermediate uh, group and the high risk group were associated with increased risk of dementia compared to low genetic risk and when we entered line lifestyle into this model, the results didn't change. So the next step was to look at the association between lifestyle and risk of dementia. And again, the un, um, intermediate lifestyle and unfavorable lifestyle were associated with increased risk of dementia compared to the favorable lifestyle. And then we enter the genetic risk into the model and the results didn't change. So what this set of results told us was that genetic risk and lifestyle were independently associated with risk of um, dementia. So the next step was to look at the risk in combination, so both the genetic risk and the lifestyle. And what we found was that the risk of um, dementia increased with increasing genetic risk and increasingly unhealthy lifestyle and obviously the worst combination was high genetic risk and unfavorable lifestyle. So those with high genetic risk and unfavorable lifestyle were almost three times more likely to develop uh, dementia compared to those with low genetic risk and a favorable lifestyle. And then we also looked within the genetic risk categories and found that healthy lifestyle was associated with reduced risk of dementia across genetic risk groups. So in the high genetic risk group, the risk of dementia was associated with um, a reduction by 32%. Um, so I think this is a, th those results are really exciting as they show that um, a healthy lifestyle is associated with risk of dementia regardless of the genetic risk. Um, so this is a very optimistic message. I think it's important because it suggests 
that um, healthy lifestyle interventions may help to prevent or delay dementia. So I think it just strengthens the need for uh, preventive strategies and further research in this area.